Oh, oh, oh. Everybody, this is the Simkin from TGN, and this is episode three of Conquering Puppeteer. This is Act One, Curtain Three. It's essentially just a boss battle. Although there are some cutscenes, which I'm going to leave intact. Skip them if you want, just by jogging ahead a few minutes. I will try and put some links in the description so you can skip them. I'm going to stop talking so you can get the cutscenes. They were hopelessly outnumbered, but so desperately did they fight, so bravely did they broil, that the tyrant himself finally deigned to confront them. You fight well, dare I say, skillfully, but alas. <laughs> That shield will not protect you from me! Coward! And that was the end of that revolt. The Moon Bear King used his dark magic to lock the four champions' powers away, and all would-be challenges to his throne were wiped from the face of the moon. This shield was a special one indeed. For within it still dwelled the power of the moon goddess's might. He whose valiant struggles ended in tragedy. Alas, poor knight. I knew him, Kutaro. This flashy shield of his got him farther than most, but when you're pitted against the king, eh, fear got the better of him. And put these scratches, courtesy of the moon bear king. Just look what's become of the moon sigil. Kutaro had claimed the knight's powers. Woohoo! Why, you damn it, you sweet little muffin! Try those powers out! Oh, very good. Next up, Luna Bit Part! Okay, shortbread, mouth shut and ears open! Use that shield. To protect yourself. This part's kind of boring, but it is a tutorial, so I guess it's expected. My boy. Okay, come on. You can come on. Up nearly any attack, great or small, just as long as you don't get smooshed in the process. No smooshing. Some attacks can be turned against the attacker. Next, try pointing the shield upward. Good. Now point the shield downward. Moving on. Luna bit part. The best defense is someone else's offense. And the night shield, as it happens, was specially designed to deflect beams of magic light. Which is lucky for you, because here comes a doozy! Bounces at that grub there! Yes! Yeah. Hey, come on, come on! Oh, she cut her half. Wears out if you use it too much, so be sure to 
to give it lots of rest. Now that's really important to remember. The shield runs out of power, so you need to use it and then stop, and then use it and stop. Or it'll all go away. Before her match, sadly, not all the castle's puppets were having the same luck as Kutaro. Winken, Blinken, and Nod here tried to make a break for it. And got broken for their trouble. The Moonbear King's overblown guillotine was waiting to reduce all such traitors to scrap. Please, stay on your toes if you want to keep them. Oops, I messed that up. Looks we actually like deflect it right at the eye. To get ahead. No defense is perfect. You know, the shield changes color. That indicates its power. So blue is like fully powered. And yellow is, you know, not so much. And red means one more hit and it's toast. The witch said you might need ooh, 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 to give I let it run out. Turn it. There we go. The guillotine is destroyed. Got the guillotine head. A few more moon sparkles. I guess we're out of here. Climb on up, Hutaro. Currently eclipsed. The shimmering gateway has been swiped. A bit more shield play here just to, I guess, really oh, enforce the idea of the shield and how it works. The king's brand new security system was installed here last week. Now, I don't know what head that is, but I certainly don't have it. Do you see it there, though? If you have an idea of what it might be, please give me a comment or hit. Uh oh. So you have to direct these at the ones that are glowing. It doesn't work at the ones that are shielded. Which I guess is kind of obvious. Remember between these two, release the shield so it has a chance to recharge. We're almost done this part and then it's off to the boss battle. Which is a lot more interesting than... Just about. We also have to free someone who's a princess, but not a princess, like that. I'm not sure if you can increase the capacity for heads up here. Having only the three seems to be quite a limit. So I hope so, because I do need like a lot of one here, and I don't have it. I want it, but I don't have it. These guys just keep coming out. I don't know if they stop. But yeah. Just about ready to go to the boss level. I'm just gonna try this one more time. Because it would be pretty nice to find that lock head and use it on these guys. Yeah, just keep coming up over and over again. And no more souls either, so it's kind of pointless to keep it in this. Let's move on. Here are the now, I was trying to get these the with the scissors, but there's no need. Yin Yang the and Silly Kitty can't get them for you. Oh, Silly is more annoying than Silly at times. But it's all good. It's lots of heads. Here, I can help me. That was clumsy, yeah. Out of now, let Tiger have it. Oh yeah. Gateway. Help! Somebody! Oh, 
Now, those things are all pouring water now. I don't know if there's any perfect. But. Seems likely that it does. Or does it? I don't know. Got my head back that I was missing. If you use these things, you fly up, you can get this bonus 10 moon, Watch out moon, um, keep forgetting any of the things. Now you want to be careful here of the light. If you're in the light, uh, two blades will come out and attack you. They're pretty easy to avoid, so it's not a big deal, but it's worth knowing that you can't avoid it all together. Oops. You can also use your shield. Off my head again. Here we go. Move on. Where is my Yin-Yang. I think it's actually a pretty good name for a kitty. Not only you guys, but I have four kitties. Anna, Orca, Rogue, and Gunner. So pretty good. Cool. Was it the night's soul within the shield, or something else stirring? A fire filled Kutaro's heart, and he knew it was his duty to save the princess. Hmm. Just what is it about damsels? So here we can use our our head, special head thing. Oh. Sorry, one. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, I don't want the shard. I want the head. Oh, that's the worst thing that could happen. Luckily, we have a shield, so it's not so bad. Basically, just redirecting this thing here. You want to make sure your shield, shield is fully charged. I'm having trouble saying the word shield for some reason. Holy crap, is she the man? Wait, that's not the sun princess. She's not even a lady. At best, she's a lady in waiting. Kutaro was disheartened, but his sense of chivalry would not let him leave the lady behind. You want to hurry up here because these blocks start to fall behind below your feet? She was a princess. I could really go for my own kingdom. No use moaning. A hero never leaves a <coughs> lady behind. Shoot fully charged, so let's do this again. Oh no. Here we go, let's do our special head move. Yeah, that's me. Save the princess? Why else would you have Calib 
Starbirth and the Moon Knight's shield. Well, you're about three feet too short and three hours too late. But thanks. Like, seriously. <laughs> I think we may have an incident on our hands. We do. Okay now, it's on to the boss battle. So it was a little longer than I had remembered, but that's okay. So this boss battle is the first boss battle after the mini bosses that's a piece of the new um, stone the mini bosses Without being those those weavers be a scary cat and no better so Yang is just telling us basically we have to take his teeth out his two big fangs and then we're set this guy has a few basic attacks this one here you just want to jump when he goes to hit basically right now there we go and then shield i'm gonna have to do it again Don't you look scrumptious? Oh yeah. So this fight attack is actually a little hard to avoid sometimes, but if you're watching carefully, you can just dodge just before he hits. So again, we want to jump right about now, and then shield, and now we can mess him up. There's a bit of a mini game in here, kind of reminds me of God of War, but not nearly as difficult, at least not in this stage. I'm thinking maybe later on it will get a lot harder. But I haven't experienced that yet, so I'm just guessing. Oh yeah, one tooth gone. Now he gets a little bit harder, he gets a few different attacks now. Or one different attack, and he has like a tail attack. And his bite attack is a little bit more persistent. So here you want to jump, so you want to make sure you're not jumping into the ball. Now if you do get hit, make sure to grab your head right away. Oh, darn it, I forgot to block. So, the idea there is to jump, jump, block. Pretty big stuff. Now I don't have the iron ball head, or I would use it here and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Do this again now. Oh, oh, oh. Being all red in the face. I'm not sure what that means exactly. But perhaps he's just flustered. Oh, I almost messed it up there. But I saved it the last second. So now we're gonna cut hit to his hand again. The mini game. I think we're actually done this part now. Oh no. I have to cut out his tooth. What am I saying? Oh, got it. Here we go. There we go. Last time I was able to just cut right up, I didn't have to actually use the vine. But, good thing they were there, because they were handy. So here we go now, the last phase of the minigame, if I remember it correctly. And I think I do. Stop that, you oh man. yeah. This guy is toast. I think not. Now that's gotta hurt a whole lot, man. I, I cannot describe the pain I, I'm honestly feeling right now.
So that's it for this level. Just more cutscenes. And that's it. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure to catch the next episode. And subscribe now and like this video if you enjoyed it. Save the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. Peace.